One of the most powerful passing passes from a closed door is double under pass. So as my partner is opening my feet and going right under, he's gaining tremendous, tremendous power and advantage of passing the guard. Right from here, we'll take advantage and, and enter the triangle trap. But before we get there, I need to gain control. If you watch the concept videos in the very beginning of the series, you know that my hips over my shoulders is bad news. My hips cannot raise off the ground in this fashion. I have to be bridged up and creating this space. So first things first, as my partner is gaining the control here, I need to move my shoulders back. I'm gonna walk my shoulders back to create space. Why do I need this space? Because one of my hands is going to reach right into the armpit. So I'm gonna create this wedge. This is going to stop my partner from stacking me forward. But in addition to this, my free hand is gonna come right on the side of his neck and I'm going to create another frame. See now, him pushing into me is not going to be so efficient. In addition to all this, very likely by then he already lost the gripping from the inside. What, what I mean by this, the moment my hand comes in, his arm very likely already is spinning towards the back. That allows me to kick the leg, clear the arm, and get, you see it? Right there. Trap is right available. The arm is um, right in the spot, which allows me to continue our process of trapping, turning, eliminating space, and finishing the triangle choke. Notice once again that I didn't pass the arm. I left it off to the side because that's available as well. So let's take a look at it one more time. As my partner is opening my legs and begins stacking, I'm going to slide my arm right in. You don't have to go deep. I'm just simply looking for the wedge right between his body and his arm. My free hand is gonna get right behind his ear, creating this slight leverage. This is what's going to allow me to clear the arm and trap right behind his head. If you choose to maneuver the arm to the other side, please do, but remember that I need to switch and continue turning, creating this angle when I'm looking at my own knee. My heel is touching towards my knee allowing me to close, curling my toes up and maneuvering my knees in the same direction will maximize the pressure. Action. So once again, he's going under, opening my gut, and right away, I'm creating the wedge. Pushing my partner to the side, and I'm going to kick and clear the arm. The moment his hand clears, I'm going to close my legs behind. Now, it might happen where my guard is very low, my trap is low, it's not over the shoulders, below the shoulder. This is where I'm going to have to climb a little bit more to make sure that I remove the far shoulder from the equation. Now, as I'm turning, I need to remove the other shoulder from the equation. So remember, turning it all the way through is key component here. You can always reach under the leg, under hook, for, to maximize your angle, but closing your legs here will maximize your success. So, another great example of not only a countering a pass, but turning this into an offensive position. As we go through these videos, you're going to start noticing that triangles are not only an offensive approach, they are creating a defensive mechanism to stop the passing and introduce counterattacks.